What's going on guys? Welcome back to another repaint video. In the video today, we're going to be repainting the little tiny Dilophosaurus from Mattel. Now I was debating on uh, what style of uh, paint job I wanted to do on it. And uh, I was thinking, you know, we'll do a movie realistic version like in Jurassic Park. But I've already done that before on the channel a couple of times. So I decided to do something a little bit different. And I'm going to paint it to look like the old uh, electronic Kenner Dilophosaurus. It's a very simple paint job. And it should be really easy to do in a relatively uh, quick time. So uh, we're only going to need three colors on this. And that's going to be white. And I'm going to use some red. And some light green. I'm going to prime it in white, but I'll also use the white as the base coat for the Dilophosaurus since this one is white. It's kind of an off-white now since it's really old, but it's around, you know, that time kind, of, kind of like white color. So if you are going to do this and you're going to prime it, always remember to use acrylic primer on the Mattel dinosaurs because they have soft rubber bits and spray can primer will make it tacky. So this is pretty much it for the supplies that I'm going to need. I'm going to be using the airbrush on this and probably some hand brushes uh, to do the finer detail work on it. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. You guys enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. All right, so I'm just going to start off and um, apply the white primer. All right, so now I'm going to take the red here and uh, I'm going to do the little faded red part on the bottom of the neck and I'm going to try and get up in there and uh, get that painted. And then I'll also do the little squiggly lines on the frill. So I got a little bit of white left in my airbrush and just take a small drop of red, add it in there, mix it up a little bit. <clears throat> Drop of water. Okay. All right, so there's the jaw and the neck. And while we're at it here, we're going to go ahead and do the inside of the mouth. And we'll touch up all the teeth and stuff afterwards. So we'll try to replicate these squiggly lines as best as I can. Alright, so now I'm going over it with just a little bit darker red just to kind of make it look a little bit richer. All right, and now we'll do the frill first. All right, so here's uh, this uh, green layer done. I think I'm gonna go a bit darker with the green. So I'm gonna use, um, let's see. I'm gonna use uh, this United States Air Force green. Cause I think it'll darken it up and match it a little bit better. Now we gotta get that little tiny eyeball painted so it's a uh, hold your breath time. And see if we can get it without making a giant mess. I got it. Alright. Now 
on the other side. Now the black dot is going to be even harder because it's even smaller than the yellow one. Alright, now I'm going to paint the inside of the mouth. I'm just going to do that by hand and uh, I'm using, this is like my mouth mix. It's just a mix of colors that I have that I use for the insides of the mouth sometimes. I got a little use on this one. Alright, now I'm going to go after the teeth here. We're just using a um, vintage white. And just so carefully touching the tooth. And the bottom rack is basically the same. They're just a bit smaller, so I'll do that off camera. Alright, so the last thing I want to do is... Uh, I want to paint the claws. I know the original, the claws aren't painted on it, but I always feel like it lacks um, color, you know, when the claws aren't painted. And so I'm going to do these just in a neutral gray color, not black or anything like that. Just something that kind of goes well with the color on the, the skin. And there we go. And the last little step here is to paint the spit projectile that it comes with. Now the one it comes with is like Ghostbuster green, but we want to make it black, like in Jurassic Park. So we're gonna get some black airbrush paint. There we go. Just like that.